So if you don't know yet, Scroll recently launched Mainnet and they have $80 million in funding. So they definitely have some nice incentive to early adopters. So one of the apps that I want to show you guys is basically DeFi Llama. So looking at DeFi Llama, you can see the protocol ranking. You can filter them by TVL, total value locked in the certain protocols. KyberSwap, this is the number one DEX with the highest total value locked. Another one is Zebra, SyncSwap, EasySwap. So we're going to be using some of these apps. So step number one, you want to connect your wallet to chainlist.org and then simply you want to search or scroll in the search box then i click add to metamask so once you've done that you want to switch into scroll mainnet in your metamask wallet and then on scroll website you want to click on the official bridge so click on this button so when you connect your wallet to the website you will need to send some amount of ether to scroll mainnet so i recommend sending above 20 dollars because we will need to make various transactions so it's going to be cover all the gas fees that we need so it's going to take around 20 minutes to confirm the transaction so if you don't want to use the official bridge and if you want to save something on the gas fees you can use third-party bridges like orbit finance and the another one which is probably the cheapest at the moment is rhino.py so just make sure you try this one as well. The price might be very at different times. So just see which one works the best for you. Once you got your funds in your wallet, you want to make a couple swaps. So like for example, from Ether to USDC, then from USDC to USDT and so on. You can use any available pair. But the more transactions you do, of course, the better for you in the long run. Um, but you just need to remember that you have to perform these transactions every every week, every second week, or every month. It's really up to you. So once you have your swaps done, you want to go to pools and you can go and select any pool. So if you have USDC and Ether or USDC and USDT, so you can select any of these pools. I usually use the um, pool with the most liquidity in it. So in this case, USDC and Ethereum. So you can enter the pool and then you can click on the deposit button and then select um, the amount of USDC you want to put. So for example, you can do like five or 10 up to you you don't have to put at the bottom anything and then you just want to click on the deposit button so we've seen in the past that arbitrum and optimism did criteria for liquidity providers i think in this case it's going to be similar so it's also good to um, learn from the previous airdrops and apply the strategies in the future airdrops but i definitely recommend you to uh, provide some liquidity it doesn't have to be much like 100 dollars or 1000 dollars you can do simply five to ten dollars is going to be definitely enough next protocol you can use is izumi.finance so exactly the same steps you can swap from ether to usdc and so on if you don't want to provide liquidity on a sync swap you can do it on izumi finance next swap we have space swap you can do the same thing select any of these available coins that you want to make swaps and the another one is hybrid swap so it's a bit different because you can do swaps and also cross chain swaps so if you want to send any funds from for example like linea arbitrum you can bridge something to scroll so you don't have to use the official bridges or uh, third party bridges you can use this DeFi app which also has the cross chain swaps in a feature so the next one is dmail and this one is interesting because it helps you to send emails to different users so you can bridge this gap between web 3 to web 2 you can go to pre-sale then you select any name that you want so for example DeFi user and then if you click search you can see that this domain is available so click on this one and then you can see that for um scroll you can register this domain for free so once you do that you can go ahead and click on compose and then you will not just provide any uh, username so i just say user.gmail.com or wherever different domain name you want to send emails to it's really up to you next protocol you can use is scroll name service and then here go ahead and search for your scroll username user and then you can go ahead and just see how much it's gonna cost as you can see this one is available so click on this one and you can see that you will need to pay some small small registration fee which is at the moment $16. So if you want to go full DGEN, you can go ahead and register this domain. But in my opinion, it's not necessary unless there will be some heavy filtering uh, where they're going to be removing sibilers. So um, they might look at differently on this one if you have your domain name. So it might be useful in this case if you have multiple wallets. The another one I want to show you is Merkley Minter. So basically on this website, you can mint your ONFT. And let's say you want to mint it on scroll. And from scroll you can bridge it over to optimism so you have two steps so basically you mint your nft you click on the mint button and then from um, the same page you click bridge so you do two actions so you basically you're minting your nft on scroll and then you're bridging it over to optimism by layer zero so you're qualifying for two airdrops the another thing that i mentioned in my previous video you can deploy a contract on scroll by using Merkley. 
So what it does basically when you deploy a contract on scroll, there will be three different types of NFTs where hopefully gonna qualify us as the additional criteria for the airdrop. So if you want to go ahead, you can click on the basic contract and then you want to create this contract and interact with that. The another thing you can do, you can go ahead to omnisea.org website and you can see they have the mint ongoing. So you can mint this NFT completely for free and already 32,000 people minted this NFT. So next up, if you want to interact with even more protocols, you can go ahead to NFT marketplace, which is lms.market. And you can see a lot of people already listed this NFT. So if you go to your portfolio, and then you list your NFT, you're gonna interact with this marketplace. And if you want to use even more applications that I show you, you can go ahead to scroll.io slash ecosystem. I'm gonna put it down below so you can access this on your own. So now you can see you have plenty of different applications. I showed you already a few of these, but in here you have another 20, 30 of different dubs that you definitely wanna interact with because it might be a really good idea to boost your criteria even more. So if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know in the comment down below and hit the like button for the algorithm and I'll see you in the next one.